Hi, I'm Dave Warzel, and you're watching PHTV4 Spotlight. Today's spotlight is on the girls' bowling team at L.B. Shepherd High School in Palos Heights. Uh, I'm very fortunate on my left, I've got head coach Destiny Miller. On my right, I've got Paige and Amy, some athletes on the team. And uh, bowling is headed into probably one of the most critical parts of the season, right? It's, it's winding down, but amping up at the same time, right? Uh, they just had conference and we're headed into the regionals and so maybe get a little bit of a recap and then also talk about what it looks like going forward. Um, Coach Miller, can you tell us first, you know, how long have you been a coach? How long have you been at Shepherd first? Um, so this is my second year as the head coach for bowling, um, but I've been working in the building now for three years. Okay, congratulations. Second year. Good. Uh, I hope there's many more tagged on there for you. Uh, and then how about, uh, you know, and I want all of you to kind of speak to it, uh, but Coach, can you talk to first, how has the season gone for you? How do you feel headed into regional then? I think it's gone really well, actually. They've made so many improvements from the beginning of the season till now. Um, I actually took videos of them from the beginning of the season till now, and it's just a lot of improvement. Their form, their style, how like their accuracy has just gotten a lot better. And I'm really looking forward to regionals. I think it'll hold some big things for us. Good, especially if you know they're improving. But it, it's also got to be tremendously rewarding for yourself and the athletes to see the like you can see the improvement happening, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it feels good as a coach to see that they've actually improved and that what I'm doing is working. Um, I've been bowling since I was seven years old, so being able to give them my knowledge is amazing and I love it so much. Nice. Um, could, I'm going to ask you two to speak to it now. How about like your favorite, uh, you know, highlights for you this past season, like a favorite match or a great, you know, game you played? I would have to say conference. We were all doing amazing. We were all upbeat. Um, we just all had each other's backs and it was a great time. It's got to, when you're having fun, right? I mean, and having a great, and, and probably competing at a high level, right? Amy, how about for you? Um, I feel like um, we did good um, for EP. Against EP, I feel like we had a lot of, like, motion and a lot of happiness in our head, and we didn't get in our head either, so we're, we're fine. Let's see, when the emotions are running and when you're happy and you get that energy going, that makes for a lot of fun. Um, how about this? And I, I'm, Maybe it's not on here, but I'd still like to sneak it. Or it is, I guess. Uh, favorite alley to bowl in? Uh, I think they bowl really well at Payless. At Payless? Um, our home house is Centennial, but we are at Payless quite a bit. Okay. Um, so and they do really well there. It's almost like a home alley. Then. Yeah, yeah, kind of. We're, we're there quite a bit, so yeah. All right. Do you, do you have a favorite alley? Yeah, it's also Payless and Arena. Um, just we're there so much that they're almost like our second homes with Centennial. Okay, Amy. I say Payless too because I feel like when I throw the ball, I feel like I see the hook a little bit more than I do at Centennial. Wow, I like you. Got to hear the uh, the uh, analysis of how she's doing. Um, how about this? And let me put you in the spot. Turkey? Have you rolled it? And I know this is a silly question. Go ahead. Have you rolled a turkey? I definitely have. <laughs> you done better than a turkey. I have. I've bowled two 300 games and one 800 series. Wow. So we're talking about perfect bowling. Uh, for the amateurs or rookies here, and obviously a turkey is too easy for you. What's a turkey? A turkey is three strikes in a row. Okay. Now, ladies, how about you? Turkey, four-bagger, what have we done this year? I have had up to five strikes in a row. Wow. Congratulations. Um, I probably got a, a turkey my freshman year. Um, I got a 166 my freshman year. I just don't have a turkey this year, sadly. <laughs> All right, well, you have another chance coming up real soon at regional, right? That would be a great time to do it. All right, how about, let's turn away from bowling for just a second, and how about uh, favorite subject in school? Favorite subject would probably have to be my ROTC that I do on top of my bowling. Okay. I probably will say gym. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a subject, but okay. <laughs> LP is a subject for sure. And then do you do any other sports or clubs or activities at Shepherd other than bowling? At the moment, I'm not in anything else, but as the softball season is coming up, I am looking forward to that. Oh, good. So you're going to try softball. And, and ROTC is actually, uh, that's also beyond and above the curriculum too, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it is. I'm also on the marksmanship team, which is um, air rifle shooting. We are here bright and early at 6 in the morning. Um, Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Amy, how about you? Do you do any other club sports or activities? 
I used to do chess, but I'm pretty. I'm looking forward to trying. I'm interested in trying Batman for the first time, so I hope I get the chance to do that. All right, well, good luck with the spring activities and sports. Um, and then one other question, you know, Paige, I know it's for you it's down the road. You're a sophomore, right? But are, are you thinking beyond high school? Amy, I want you to enjoy your senior year, but uh, do you think beyond high school yet? Um, a little bit, but I'm still not 100% on what I want to do. Okay, take your time. you got a couple of years to sort it out. Amy, how about you? What, are, what does post-high school look like for you? I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start doing a nail salon, like trying to start nails and hopefully open it up, open up a hair salon and nail salon with my best friend that, okay. that goes to Bremen. So. Okay. All right, good luck. No, you've got the plan. So yeah, that's wonderful. Good luck. Um, and then final question for all, or two questions actually, a favorite moment or, or, you know, best memory about bowling this past season. And then I'm going to also ask you what you like best about being either a coach or an athlete on the team. Coach, how about you first? Best moment of the year so far? Um, I'm always proud of them when they can handle like the long tournament days because tournaments, they can tend to take up to like eight hours and I have them stand up the whole time and they're always mentally in it because bowling is a very mental game as well. Um, so them being able to stay mentally focused, I'm always very proud of that and being able to cheer each other on and stay in it the whole time, it's always very very rewarding. That sounds like a tremendous challenge, like an eight-hour day, and bowling especially, the precision of it, right. right? And if you're off just an inch, what that can cause to have happen. Yeah, I could see being proud of stuff like, yeah, that kind of, uh, you know, mental focus. Paige, how about for you this past season, best or favorite moment? Um, uh, favorite moment, honestly, was probably conference. We were all kind of on our toes, and that's honestly the best we've done all season. Um, and it just felt good to know that you had a team supporting you. Nice. No, I, I like that the team support, best moment conference, so hopefully you're going to create another best moment real soon here, right? Amy, how about for you? I'm going to also say conference because I felt exactly what Paige just said. Um, I felt like we were motivated, like a, a little bit happier than we were. Five and, game and six and five, were just we were down a little bit more, but like, it's a, it's fine. <laughs> fine. Well, what's in the, like you said, being happy, the energy coming back, and that's part of a competition, rising those challenges, right? Uh, final question for all of you. What do you like best about being part of bowling at Shepherd High School? I mean, I just love it because I bowled for, uh, for Shepherd when I went here, obviously. Um, so I just love being able to be back here coaching them. For you, so it has that nostalgic component to it, yeah? Paige, what do you like best about being part of the program? Um, I would have to say my teammates, because at the end of the day, we all know we have each other's back. Whether we win or lose as a team, we go as a team, we come home as a team, especially when we're down. All of our girls, we've had a few uh, breakdowns this season, and all of our girls were just there to give a big old hug. It is nice to know that that's, like, there's almost a family relationship, yeah. right? And there's support around you. Amy, how about for you? Um, I feel like we we did good. Um, we had our motivation up. And like one of my concert guys would say, we are all sisters and we're all in this together. So we got this. It is nice being together. I like that. That's a great line to close it. We're all in this together, right? Absolutely. Well, good luck with regionals and sectionals. I hope you get there and beyond. And uh, Coach, good luck. It sounds like a lot of great things were happening this year. Yeah. And some more great things coming up. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching PHTV4 Spotlight. Today's Spotlight has been the girls' bowling program at Allenby Shepherd High School. Thank you for watching.